fuck the English. Oh, wait, I endorse this statement. <laughs> watch out, Jack. See, this is why we are the drinkers, eh? See, watch out, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Jack and Ross's Unreasonably Difficult Game Show. Whey! Whey! Tonight we'll be testing the knowledge of our contestants because no one's done enough tests recently. But at least this one doesn't involve ramming something down your throat unless someone really wants to win that big cash prize. A whopping £20. Oh. 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 Let's meet the teams. <laughs> One's hoping to do well enough to get a Toblerone from his dad. The other's just here because nobody invited him to the pub. It's Jets and GB. <laughs> I'd quite like a double on that, please. And on my other side, one of them's an impulse buyer who was upset when we told him he wouldn't be able to buy a cheat sheet for this on Amazon. The other is a cheap bastard who thinks a rubber band ball is actually a good prize. But I'm not sorry about it. It's Tony and Michael. I'll be boo. So first things first, he's got any team names. What's, the, what's your team name? We Warriors. We Warriors. Oh, Let's right, go. Okay. Right. We shouldn't just make ourselves. Wee warriors. Weeb. Weeb. Weeb warriors, right. It's like people that <laughs> masturbate to anime but with t tits. Ah, it describes Steven us Stanley's. perfectly. We are the, the Stephen Stanleys. Stephen, Stephen Stanley. Stanley. I'll, be, I'll be honest. <laughs> <laughs> so you're the SS. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what I was about to say. We've went the Japanese, they've went the German angle. If I speak, I am in, in big trouble. Round one, the little skinny round of yesteryear. Ooh. Bearing absolutely no resemblance to any other late night annual TV show, this round is made up of diff questions of different categories from events that happened last year. Ooh. Our first category is news events. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> trying to write questions for this round that weren't COVID related were almost as hard as trying to get Tony to show up on time. Boris Johnson lost his place during a speech at the CBI conference, so began extensively praising the wonders of Peppa Pig World, making it the most unusual thing I've seen since I bumped into Prince Andrew at a Pizza Express in Woking. <laughs> wow. <laughs> 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 Sorry. <laughs> if that's not a way moment. Question one. Joe Biden was inaugurated in January last year, but which fashion accessory seen during the inauguration prompted a school teacher from Vermont to be bombarded with over 13,000 orders? Did you hear me? <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> I tried to be quiet, but I wanted him to hear me. You can always write on the board if you don't want to. Yeah, you, can, you yeah. could use your board oh, to communicate. Simple little fucking. Good kind of thinking, thought. guys. Right, question two. We're not done oh, yet. Uh, too bad. Too bad. Too you can time. think about it later. Yeah, okay. Crypto was featured in the news a fair bit again last year, but one investment advisor from Germany called Mr. Gox used his spinning wheel to net his clients a tidy profit. But can you tell me what was unusual about Mr. Gox? What was unusual about Mr. Gox? He was actually a woman. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> I can't tell you that. <laughs> no, I can't tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it could be, though. Monsters. Question three. Billionaires Richard Branson, Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos ramped up their efforts in the space race last year in a sort of bizarre rich people version of a dick measuring contest. <laughs> but can you tell me which famous person Bezos took with him to, uh, to space aboard his Blue Origin? Which, I will say, kind of looks like a cock. <laughs> it does look a bit like a cock, doesn't it? I'm trying to think who he's got pals on. Did. Exactly, even his wife left. Him. Okay, so question one was, uh, what fashion accessory prompted the school teacher to be bombarded with orders. Mm -hmm. what, what, what did you guys get over here? Mittens. Um, well, you didn't have to show you the board, but you can just say it out loud. Mm -hmm. so they went mittens, what did you go? Crocs. 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 It was indeed mittens. Let's go. Worn by Bernie Sanders. Oh, the man. Made by oh. elementary school teacher, Jen Ellis. <laughs> that old bastard. Look at that sexy beast. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> God. Fuck. Okay, the second What's question. What was unusual about Mr. Gox? We've put that uh, Mr. Gox wasn't human. Wasn't human? Yeah. Yes. Right, you, you want to give me anything else more specific? Will that be accepted yeah. as an answer if it's correct? Uh, it depends what I think say. he's a monkey. What did you guys get? We actually thought that he wasn't a human as well. Uh. Uh, <laughs> we just but we actually know. think he's a fucking alien. But we're going to say that he had a 
just I like a big stick out chin. You mean the Cartoon Network TV show? <laughs> the Crimson Chin. Uh, the, <laughs> crim- like oh. the Crimson Chin. I was thinking about that guy for the, the long tooth guy for Family Guy, can the English guy with the massive aye, jaw. I like that. <laughs> so I was picturing it. <laughs> it could be like well, the actual answer. <laughs> he was a hamster. We, we've got a little, we've got a little clip here to show you. Well, they started in June, and by the twenty seventh of September. His capital was up almost 20%, making a profit of around 60 euros. What a fucking hamster. Aye. But, but why does the person oh, yeah. just buy a load of them? Uh, well, he might have to now because on the 24th of November, Mr. Goggs died. It's a shame. You'll never get happy this story in 2021, boys, alright? Exactly. <laughs> ready for that, by the way. <laughs> Which famous face did Jeff Bezos take to space aboard his Blue Origin dildo rocket? You be answering first last name, so you can go first nice. last name. What are you doing? Molly Shatner. William Shatner. Molly Shatner. Is that right? Fuck, that's right. What did you write? There's no point. Uh, I wrote Mark the Facebook guy. <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg. Mark Zuckerberg. I couldn't spell Zuckerberg. Yeah, I wasn't going to try and spell it, so. <laughs> guy. I was actually also going yeah, to pick his there? wife. I knew that, because it was the Star Trek show. I'll tell you what. Looks fucking good for a lady, doesn't he? I know. Ah, he's a good looking guy. He's the oldest man in space. Well, what a good looking guy. It's the next category is sports. Rumours were the beds at the Tokyo Olympics were made out of cardboard to deter the athletes from having sex. But surely, if any group of people would be up for a challenge, it's them. <laughs> Scotland also managed to qualify for the Euros for the first time since 1996. It's just yeah. a shame that Billy Gilmore got her only positive result of the tournament. <laughs> nice, nice. nice. We'll nice. no have this slander about Billy Gilmore. <laughs> <laughs> so, question one. The Tokyo Olympic athletes were asked to take home the condoms supplied by organisers as souvenirs this year after they were told they must observe the social distancing guidelines. However, Australian canoeist Jessica Fox had something else in mind. Can you tell me what she used her condom for? Did she just fill it with a load of drugs and stick it up her bum? Fly home? Who knows? Who knows? Okay, question two. Yes. Which F1 driver was given a t-shirt with a person's six-pack that's muscles, not beer. Oh, boo. On the front as part of F1's Secret Santa. And I'll give you a bonus point if you can tell me who bought him the present. Wait, what? I would just like to point out that Michael watches F1, so this is a sh- yeah. fucking scab. Question three. Why was Unity the Inflatable Unicorn added to the National Football Museum's permanent collection in July last year? What? <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> 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 uh, I'm easy. I'm easy. Are, you, what, are, you sh- are you sure? Uh, right? I'm going to go with that, Ian. <laughs> fuck it. Okay, so question one was what did Jessica Fox use her Olympic condom for? Michael suggested a balloon. A balloon. A big, That's balloon. What big party balloon. Because I had no idea. Long balloon. We, you, boys? we said that she won. Like the, the gold medal, and then had a celebratory drink from the condom. She filled it with champagne or something, and then had a celebratory. Was it like that she did a condom just to the shit? Aye, aye, aye. Johnny, that that would have been cool to see. That, no, that would be but fucking unfortunately, it's not. <coughs> it was neither of those things. Right. Fuck. Uh, she it? used it to repair her kayak before winning the gold medal. So question two was, which driver was given a T-shirt with a six pack six pack on it for F1 Secret Santa? And you got a bonus for who bought the gift. What did uh, what did you guys? We put Sebastian Vettel go to boat for him, and it was bought for him by Daniel Ricciardo. That's a good shout. What did you guys say? I said it was bought for George Russell by Kimi Raikkonen. Yeah, I did a kind of Easter. It was bought for George Russell Damn it. from Lando Norris. <laughs> this is all fun. <laughs> is it from his own yeah. Instagram? The, ab- <laughs> the, the abs on the shirt are apparently George's abs. Which have been cropped from one of his numerous shirtless Instagram posts. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a terrible t shirt, by the way. <laughs> that is fucking awful. I'd be oh. raging if somebody got me that. Why was Unity, the inflatable unicorn, added to the National Football Museum? Now, your answer is by far the greatest thing I've ever heard, so <laughs> you are going first. <laughs> Did it save a cat that fell to the top of the stadium? <laughs> In the middle of this round, I looked over to see what they were writing and read the words, SAVED A CAT. <laughs> what was your answer? 
uh, the England team were in it in the swimming pool and we've put Saka was on it and Harry Maguire also was on one in the World Cup. So yeah, famously the unicorn ridden by Saka as he jumps into the pool. <laughs> Who gives a fuck? <laughs> I mean, well, it's you, you can't disagree with that. It's just, that's it quite, is a good image. That's quite a good image. It's, uh, it's a good photo, but, <laughs> but also... Uh, Why put that in museum? England? Our final category for this round is TV and film. Ooh, no no Time to Die was finally that. released last year. It's about a virus created in a lab that could wipe out large sections of the population. It's a bit unrealistic, but it is just a movie after all. <laughs> last year, Chris Pratt was also cast as Mario, and the internet was outraged. Personally... I'm just glad it wasn't James Corden. Oh, fire bomb! Fuck you, James Corden. <laughs> you English cunt. <laughs> <laughs> You're the James Corden of this group, mate. Oh, that, that's how that is the biggest <laughs> Corden. Oh. That's what you get for being mean to me when you fucking came in. That's <laughs> the worst thing you can say. It's getting a wee bit personal now, isn't it? It is a bit. Aye. Question one. Yeah, aye. In Spider-Man No Way Home, during the scene on the bridge where Doc Ock first appears, a license plate reads 63... A five M dash three. What does it reference? Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck you can. In the popular Netflix show Squid Game, four hundred and fifty six players started the first game red light green light. How many players died during this game? I've not actually seen this. So question three. Why was a cardboard cutout of Bond girl, Anna de Armas, found in Ben Affleck's trash? <laughs> what? <laughs> Is that the actual cutout? Yeah, that's the, that's right, the actual I mean. picture of the, the guy who found the cutout. Ben's Ben's doing fucking Affleck's something trash. dirty with that. Right. Obviously. Uh, no sponsor. <laughs> but uh, I wish it to work as this. Right, Pepsi's alright, huh? Cherry Pepsi? Mm-hmm. You're a fucking oh, Pepsi's fine. <laughs> that one better be on right if no one in fucking serious trouble. What did the license plate during the Spider-Man bridge scene refer to? Actually, we've got a feeling it's maybe a fucking spoiler that I've... Uh, uh, the Amazing Spider-Man The Amazing Spider-Man 3 is uh, in the works. Yeah, that's, that's a good shout. What did you guys say? Does it go something to do with a reference to Spider-Man 3, the Sam Raimi one? No. The answer... <sighs> uh, it refers to comic The Amazing Spider-Man number 3, which was released in 1963, where Doc Ock makes his first appearance. I knew it was going to be a call. I did. That would that makes a lot more sense. We did write the Amazing Spider-Man three. <laughs> we did on the board. We actually right. have to be fair. Look, <laughs> well, you're, so, you're looking at a pipe for that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can, but that's what we weren't even in the, the movie. Question two: How many players died playing Red Light Green Light in Squid Game? You guys want to go Three thousand eight hundred and twenty-seven. Well, I mean, given they started with 456, that would be very impressive. Fair enough. Got, what was the actual answer? 141? 141? 200, 255. 255. Well, I can tell you, 456 people started, it was reduced to 201, meaning 255 <laughs> players were killed in the first game. Let's fucking go I'm, I'm, find that, by the way. I'm actually impressed. Uh, that was good. As soon as that thing came up, by the way, he'll tell you, yeah. I put 456 <laughs> minus 201 and just done it on the wall. He, he literally <laughs> wrote it <laughs> as a summary <laughs> day. Like, with a line of everything. Question three was, why was cardboard cut out of Anna de Armas found in Ben Affleck's trash? <laughs> what did you guys say? Uh, he was hiding it, is what I've actually wrote, but I meant hiding. He was hiding it? Hiding it for his partner. What did you guys I mean, say? Yeah, like, uh, it was a gift to his wife. What, what did you write before Tony convinced you that yours was an uh, incorrect and gift from his wife? It was a mountain for a flashlight. <laughs> 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 or, oh, or just a generic masturbation aid. Nah, that was not nah. uh, It was found in his trash because she dumped him. Um, the cutout was apparently something his kids had bought him as uh, a part of some sort of prank. Which he then supposedly threw out after she dumped him over the phone. Damn. Damn. Unlucky, <laughs> kid. <laughs> ben. Still you to Sad Good face. Friend. I hope you're alright. So at the end of round one, the scores are Jeds and GB with two, Michael and Tony on three. So Still all to play for, I would still say. Still all to play for. <laughs> okay, yeah. round two, which is a round we're calling Pixel Me This. Mm. This round, again, will be split into three different categories. You will be shown an image related to the category which will be pixelated. The image will then begin to unpixelate. You must buzz in when you think you know it, 
If you get it wrong, the other team will allowed to be, uh, be allowed to make a guess. And if you're both wrong, the round will continue until either you run out of time or one of you gets it right. Oh, oh I like our oh, squad. Bye. Alright, you can stop now. Much better. Oh my one. god, there's somebody tidy just walked past. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is fun. We're having fun. <laughs> <laughs> so, our first category for this round is it. Name the title of our videos. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. The forest. No. Damn it. That means we get to. You, you, you get free guess. You get a free go. But the new. I know. No. Oh, this guess. is bullshit. <laughs> Minecraft speed build. No. Bollocks. Geogasso. <laughs> no. Make it just guess I did it to them because they know. The the what's it? You think you whisper? We can't go. Aye, oh, the day with Jack. Lock hard or whatever they're called. What they called? <laughs> what they called? What they called? The video. <laughs> Don't they fucking look at us? We look at Jack. Jack. <laughs> a moment with Jack. <laughs> no. A moment with Jack. It's not. Right. Let's just let's play sense point. Can you laugh at me? You cannot. If you cannot, click it. <gasps> Big bad podcast. No. You just get any ideas? Is it the crossbar challenge? It is the crossbar challenge! Oh, oh bingo! No yeah. fucking There you go. We zoomed into a bit of the, the floor in front of the goals. Fuck me! <laughs> nice. Yeah, Good so video of that, by the way. Hi. Go watch it. Like, yeah. right now. Actually, not right now. Watch this one. I watch this and then go watch it. <laughs> yeah. The second one, then, boys. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Minecraft speedball challenge. It's got to be that eventually, like, surely. <laughs> a moment with Jack. That's really nice no. every single fucking A day with Jack. You, you have to buzz in, but... That is Michael. <laughs> <laughs> no, I heard... I heard the, the, the I heard pumpkin the challenge video. No. no. The hot sauce challenge. No. Do you guess so? He's only got to do it again. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> me. <laughs> Fuck you. They've just taken the lead. Pricks. And then the third one of this set. Three, two, one, go. Minecraft speed build. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a moment with Jack. No. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Oh. I can't what that says. Xmas game uh, show. Yep. <laughs> oh my god. They've only got, they've got a clean <laughs> fucking <laughs> sweep. <laughs> nice. It's a clean <laughs> sweep for... What, what was your name again? I can, I can never the remember. Steven the Stanley's. S S the Stanley's. The SS is Steven Stanley's. The, the second set of uh, Shit, clips is going to be right, name those video games. So you'll get you get another three set of uh, of images. Pressure's on here for me. It's uh, just going to be like they say. It could be a screenshot from the game or the, like the box. Uh, yeah, it, comes it could be anything uh, to yeah. do with the game, basically. Right. So the first one, three, two, one, go. Burger King? I know what it is, but I don't know. Oh, I'm going to have to push you for an answer. It's a... Uh, sneak King. It is Sneak King. Yes! <laughs> the classic Sneak King. How the fuck did you get that? <laughs> oh, I know that game thing. Like a mad, so let's go. That's four for four for you guys, so... Fuck I'll keep this straight going, boys. Uh, the second one here. In three, two, one, go. Uh. Simpsons hit and run. No. Can I throw a guess out there then? Ah, well, I mean, go this is why it, we're really sport. I was waiting for him. <laughs> I was I was alright. Are you alright with me making a guess? I go for it. Sonic the Hedgehog 1. No. Right. Tetris? It's not Tetris. I think I know what it is. Go for it. Sorry. Do you mind? No, if you fucking can what it is, then go for it. Harry and the Philosopher's Stone. No. Is <laughs> it Spyro? No. Uh, oh, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. No. That was just the first game we came on. The tree branch hang is sticking out to me there. Hit it. Just hit it. <laughs> what are you going for? Anything today? Ghostbusters, the video game. 
Hey, it's not Ghostbusters. You got that an idea? Some Destroy all humans. Destroy all humans. Nah. <clears throat> You're almost out of time. Oh, is it? Last minute buzz. A, a seventh five. Nah. Seventh four. You're gonna hate your seventh when you crash came or something. It's not crash. <laughs> oh. Uh, Scooby Doo. Nah. Is it? Uh, SpongeBob. Nah. For the video game. Chat. Every <laughs> time. Fuck. Jack actually just, 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 as soon as he said Spongebob, Jack just fucking hit play. The, uh, <laughs> He's like, fuck off. The actual answer was South Park, the Stick of Truth. Oh, I would never have got that. Oh, I would never have got that. that. Oh, the heart. I that was sticking that. it to me a wee bit, but I, I would never have got that. That so, was good. No, no points for that one, unfortunately. You've ruined your clean sweep of this round. Okay, that's that's all right. Right. Yeah, but that's all right. you can redeem yourself with the third one. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Minecraft? No. Fuck, that was my answer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I see the squares. Can I make a guess? Go for it. Terraria? No. Oh, Breath of the Wild? No. Gotcha. I want to throw something at just because of the fucking call. Is it, is it Grand Theft Auto Vice? Sorry? No. Oh, I thought it was only something else. Oh, no. Are you sure it's not one. Minecraft? I'm 100% sure it's not Minecraft. <laughs> I'm gonna give that tipped. to you. Pokemon. It's not Pokemon. Is it the like Fallout shelter game? No. The mobile game? Just because of the way it looks. Is it Metroid? Nope. I think you can. <laughs> oh, it's a wrestling game. I don't know what one though. Do I need to be specific? Well, say your answer will find out. WWF WrestleMania. No. Is it. <laughs> Fuck, I actually know what it is now. <laughs> Is it the, the the boxing game that had Mike Tyson? The the psh, your guy's like psh, fuck. What's it called? Something boxing. Boxing champion. Something. Boxing, boxing champion. champion. Ultimate boxing champion. No, that's not what it's called. I can't, but we got to guess anyway because they pushed it. Right. Oh, Mike Tyson's punch out. It is Mike Tyson's punch out. <laughs> Yes. And I just thought he was a boss in it. I didn't realise it was his actual game. That's so. I was like, that's a thumb buckle. <laughs> Set number three in round two is Name that Obama Seven Now, I don't want to say you should have an advantage as being in the Mimi this Obama land today But you should probably have an advantage Let's go Three, two, one, go Angry Obama No Sad Obama <laughs> Happy Obama <laughs> Shut up What's your guess? Peace sign Obama No What's the, what's the name of this? Is it O Obama? It's just name that Obama Right, but you can do Barack Obama. It was Barack Obama. <laughs> nice. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> Image number two. In three. Oh. Oh. The red. Oh go? no, you never no. did the kind of. Wait, oh. Jack, I mean, Jack started it, no, to be I, fair. He started it, that's why I did the buzzer. That's bullshit. Is it Michelle Obama? No. Is it Barack, Barack Obama? Obama was in Barack? It's not Barack Obama. Bald Obama? No. Mike Obama? No. Old Obama. No. Young Obama? No. <laughs> President Obama. White Obama? <laughs> no. It's me. Hi. Biden Obama. Tony Blair Obama. Tony Blair Obama. No. no is, it, is it Joe Biden? Oh. No. Joe Bama. <laughs> Joe Bama. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Joe Bama. Joe Bama. Joe Bama. Okay. I was actually going to say that. Joe Bama. That's, a fucking, that's a bit of it. Right, three, two, one, go. Bush Obama. No. <laughs> Michelle Obama? No. Elon Musk Obama? No. The Rock Obama? No. <laughs> Vladimir Obama? Obama, Putin? Uh, Putin, you can't Putin Obama. I'll be nice to you. I'll give you Vladimir Obama. How was his name? It was Vlad Bama. Vlad Bama. Right. Right. How, how, how the fuck are you meant Vlad to... Vlad Bama! How am I meant to guess what you or they have used <laughs> for their fucking name? It's scary how real that looks. At the end of round two, the scores are... Jeds and GB on 8 points 
Bang that, Michael and Tony slacking a little bit on five, but you know, you're still in the game. At least we scored a few. At least we scored a few. <laughs> round three, word up. In this round, which is definitely not a rip off of a popular daytime TV show, you will play four rounds. There's two letters rounds and two numbers rounds. Each team will get a turn to pick uh, the letters by choosing either vowel or consonant. My lovely assistant Jack will then reveal the letters and start the timer. And the team with the longest valid word will get points equal to that word's length. The same goes for the numbers round, except you must use numbers to make up the sum given above. If you get the number exactly, I'll give you five points. And if neither of you get it, whatever team gets closest will get two points. Nice. So everybody's playing, because I've obviously got a board and a pen each. Lovely, lovely. Uh, okay, uh, well since you're in the lead, do you want to, you want to pick the letters first? Uh, aye. We're gonna, you, you, you go one each. Right, okay. Consonant. Give me a vowel. We got a D. O. Yeah, yeah, another vowel. I. Doing. Give me another vowel. U. Yeah, yeah, a consonant. N. Consonant. Doing it. T. Yeah, yeah, consonant. D. <laughs> Down an Abbey. Give me a vowel. A. And a consonant. Doing that. <laughs> Your time starts now. <laughs> Man, just got a banana. Right, the SS. <laughs> <laughs> what did you get? Uh, I got two, I got a f six and a five. How'd you get a six? No, you go for the six. Right. Uh, donuts. Donuts. <laughs> you did. Uh, I also got a six letter word. Uh, Dundas. Dundas. Michael? Donuts. <laughs> donuts. I got a five sound. Sound? <laughs> you fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't fucking do So that's uh, six, six points each then? Would Dundas count? Uh, I didn't see why not. Take you could have had words Check that such shit. as it's a name though. Astound. Astound's a good one. For however many letters that is. <laughs> so, we'll, do, we'll do numbers around this time, boys. We'll spice it a little. Uh, how many rounds are there? There's there's four. There's right. two two of each. One. I said that at the intro, but pay attention. He did, like, because they'll put the numbers and then the next run they'll put the letters and then we'll put the numbers. Right. Right. See? Right. He's got it all worked out. Nah, I'm... What numbers you want? Pick, pick how many large numbers you want, basically. Is how Jeez. Too large. Two large and four small. So you've got six, five, nine, seven, fifty, and a hundred. And your time starts now. I right, make seven to six as well. Ten, seven, four, eleven, a hundred and ten, seven, five, four, ten, twenty, fifty one. GB 180! Two legs and eleven! <laughs> I don't know any more words than this. Words? Numbers? <laughs> 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 Alright, what did you get? <laughs> I got 728. I got 700. <laughs> <laughs> Just 700. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got 725. I got 724. You want to go first then, GB, since you want to go first? Aye, uh, uh, 100 times 7, mm -hmm. 700. Uh, 5 divided by 50 is 10, add the 9, add the 6, and then add the 10 on as well. Okay. What did you get? 725. What did you get? Nice. I got 728, so he's closer. Jack started shouting numbers, and I couldn't have given less of a shit, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so, ah, I can't like, believe then he shouted to me, GB, to me, 180, and I was like, I can't, I've got 725. <laughs> 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 GB's been sitting there for like 15 seconds and he's like, hey, 15, 91, ah! <laughs> Right, second letters round. You can, you can pick the letters. You can go, I pick the numbers, you can pick the letters. Quality. Uh, I'll go consonant, please. A vowel, ah. please. Consonant, please. Consonant, please. Consonant, please. Consonant, please. 
Consonant, please. Vowel, please. Consonant, please. You can't hear any more consonants. Vowel, please. Oh, fucking shit. There's a lot of S's in that. Best of luck. Three, two, one, go. Sweet. Give the fucking rod! Wanker. Get a fucking jump. Yo, give him some sloppy top of what you did there, Jack. Yeah. <laughs> I've fucked myself here, baby. The focus game's pretty good. I can't get any more than four. <laughs> this is a fucking disaster, <laughs> Tony. Five. What have you done? Tony, what did you get? Uh, uh, Stop fucking writing, you're cheating me, bastard. I got a three. You got a three? So. <laughs> Four. Four. I got four. I got, I got a six. Fuck. I got a five. Okay, well, start with your four. What'd you get? I got r snow. Or no, I, got, <laughs> I actually got, I got loads of them. You oh. could have literally put an S on the end of uh, snow. I got and snows. Had snows. I got five. <laughs> <laughs> right. GB, you're yeah. five. I, I've got, I got Swiss. Swiss? Mm -hmm. That's nice. Good one. And then the six that we're all waiting for. Rinses. Rinses. Oh, nice. What a beautiful. What, what could we have had? Rosiness. Rosiness. Oh, yeah. That's a bad Session. Oh, Sensor. Snowier. Session. Fuck. I'm Snowier. Oh, oh fuck. Go 75. Do you want to go two? Not a fucking score. Go one. Go one large. Just play fun. Yeah, he's, he's a large. Ah, oh, yes. So your numbers are four, eight, two, five, six, and a hundred. And you have to get to 317. Mm -hmm. Good luck, lads. Your time starts. No. <laughs> Get to the fucking room. Should you write it now? Oh, you work at it and then give it to me. Fuck. <sighs> Oh. And that's time, gentlemen. <laughs> I'm not, I feel like such a fucking idiot. All right, let's see what you've got. I've Numbers? I've got 400. 400, Tony. <laughs> I have got 318. 318. What? Yeah, 316. 316. 327. Well, I think we need to hear what Tony's. Michaels. Wait. <laughs> You're not that's Ross. Not the host. Aye. I'm Ross. Oh, right, carry on. Let's see, you're somebody. Right, uh, I've done. 5 minus 2 equals 3 times 100 is 300. 8 plus 4 equals 12 plus 6 is 318. Okay, okay. I can, I'll can. i give you that. Me? Kind of worst bit is, I saw that uh, right at the end. 5 is 3. Mm -hmm. 3 times 100, 300. 6 times 2 is 12 plus 4. Okay. 316. 316. Yeah, at the end of them... You want to shut the fuck up? Not really, no. You're not. Because you're not the host. You're not commanding the respect. <laughs> I'm the I'm 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 be quiet the when the host is back there. Exactly. We're going to. Will, 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 will. Mute it, eh? Check out the mic. Thanks, man. Anyway, the end of the round. Will, 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 will. No, Stuart. Sorry. You'll come back. <laughs> At the end. TV, I said the fuck I'm not the only one, do it. I've said, I've got to put the compass on it, I can't fucking crash it. I hope you've got a jet on the side. Anyway, I'm trying to score a jet on the side. Anyway, at the end of round three, well, on this team, they've got 18 and you have got 26. Oh, very She's good. She's like, Ross out. Boom. Boom. You fucking suck. Somebody, somebody shut that door. I quit Project X. <laughs> right, another, another news. Round four. Oh my god. How well do you know your friend? In this round, one person from each team will remain in the shed with me, and the other two will head outside so they can't hear what's going on. I will then ask the two who stay with me some questions about their teammate, and they will write down their answer. Once all the questions have been answered, the others will return. We will then ask the questions to them and compare what they say to what your teammate has written, and if the answers match, you get a point. So question number one is, what is their biggest fear? Equality. <laughs> 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 oh, oh no! That's the end. 
<laughs> That's a banger. I'm sorry, Tony. No, you're not. I'm not. <laughs> it was funny. I stand by it. Vaccinations for you as well. <laughs> so. Question two. When is their birthday? <laughs> I've no fucking clue. <laughs> I'm stuck. I'm stuck. It's one of two things. Ah. Okay, question three. Who is their celebrity one time slash crush? The celebrity one time? What's the Aye, one time? So when, usually when you're in a relationship with someone, you say, which well, you get a celebrity one time. Mm. So it's like if you're in, say, for example, you and your girlfriend Lisa, mm-hmm. you should both have a celebrity one time that if Aye. that celebrity happened to approach you yep. and said that they were willing to have sex with you, you get to <laughs> fuck them. And it's okay. And there'll be no like. There'll be no arguments about it. Who the fuck I think, I think Lisa's is Andrew Garfield, and I think mine's is Andrew Garfield. Who the fuck is Tony pick? I can't even, I can't even, I didn't have any sort of image of who Tony would pick. <laughs> okay, number four. Wait, what is their go to takeaway? Huh? Their oh. go to takeaway food. What's their go to takeaway food? Like specifically the food, or just like the type? Uh, like, like what would their order be? GB's a fucking burger with a chili <laughs> coke, <laughs> <laughs> burger and <laughs> chips. Tony's is easy for me. I've not got a fucking clue. Uh, Tony all day long is like the <laughs> simplest man. <laughs> so is GB to be fair, honestly. And then the last question, question five. I, th- I thought you meant on the burger. If you were to <laughs> both get matching tattoos. What would your tattoos be? <laughs> What's Basically, the one thing that you have in common? <laughs> <laughs> we both like Harry. We both like Harry Potter. Oh god! Ah, nice, nice, <laughs> nice save. <laughs> I'm just gonna put that. Yeah, they really love how tall the Hogwarts building is. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that's cheeky. That's cheeky. <laughs> So I'm not going to ask you the same five questions. Five? I, that I asked them. Pardon me. You don't have to write an end down. You just have to say your answer, and then we'll compare it to what they've got written down. Right. Uh, and if it's the same, you get a point. Simple, simple as that. So the first question they asked these two is, mm-hmm. what is your their biggest fear? So if you want to go first, Tori, and tell everybody what your biggest fear is. We'll see My biggest fear? Uh, fucking spiders, 100%. Would you write heights? Hey, I was not in the ca- I wasn't sure. <laughs> he took a stab in the dark and he fucked. Uh-uh. <laughs> GB. Uh, drowning. Drowning. He drowning. Has, he has been drowning. Let's, Let's go. go. Hey, just Ding. <laughs> Question two. When is their birthday? GB, you want to reveal? Uh, the January. No, when is your birthday? Oh mine. <laughs> uh, uh, I was oh mine. Sixteenth of May. 16th May. May 16th. He's only got I had the idea. Uh, we have got a 1 in 365 <laughs> chance of getting it. 66 is a big deal. What's the answer? Uh, 26th of June. 26th of June. 8th of August. <laughs> <laughs> you, were at, you were at my fucking birthday night. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> Jackie keep mine's up. I don't mind. Yeah, he definitely much. doesn't. None. Question 3 uh, was What is their celebrity one time slash crush? <laughs> If you could, if you could bang any one celebrity in the world, who would you bang? Oh, Oz! I've Aye, never right. thought about this. <laughs> See, that well, was get I better. said that. I said that. I have no idea who you would have already thought it. Do you mean Jennifer Aniston? Jennifer Aniston. Jennifer Aniston. Oh, Let's go. I've got <laughs> you son, in the bag. Let's go. Mine's will be not applicable. <laughs> not applicable. You need to pick some kind. Anybody in the world? Anybody in the world at all? Who would you bang? <laughs> Maybe. Fuck it, hell. So, yeah, so, so no Katie Hopkins, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was just trying to get you thought you were You should have just said, I think you're deaf, you should have. <laughs> if, there's, if there's name, they just agree and we'll yeah. get a point. God. The fourth question I asked them was, what is their go-to takeaway food? If you could order anything for a takeaway, what would you order? Two of us margarita pizza and a portion of potato wedges. A bit of burger and chips. It's a bit far off for the burger and chips. No, 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 what else did you like? And the poop with a coffee, because you like coffee. (laughs) I just don't drink coffee. I know you... (laughs) Exactly. I know, but I was playing up to the stereotype. 
Just a kebab. <laughs> Sorry, man. I'm fucking what did you put? <laughs> I said a uh, bacon double cheeseburger, near rabbit food plus Dora meat. Near rabbit food? No, no bacon on it, no. Nah. I'm getting Dora meat on my bun. Need bacon on No, it. plus Dora separate. No, no, no. And then question five, the big one. If he's were to both get matching tattoos, what would they be? I'm thinking back to Tenerife for the simple point, but we're all actually talking about getting a ten pound note and then a wee bit of beef tattooed in their ass. Because <laughs> 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 we because we called it tenor beef. Uh, so yeah, yeah, we're, all talking, we're all talking about getting that uh, just to the bottom of your ass or something. Nah, that slipped my mind. I forgot about that. <laughs> How glad he is he's done any of that. <laughs> 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 a wee bit of beef at the bottom of your ass. We've become a bit of permanent shit. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> what did you put? Sutton Dung Related. It's just then just said it Dung Related. I didn't go that deep. It would probably be a fucking Simon Pegg or something. A tattoo of Simon Pegg. Yeah, Michael's going to get a self portrait of Simon Pegg when he's back. Simon Pegg! Who's your fucker? Simon Pegg! Well, on the bright side, you got question five wrong, but we did find out what Tony's answer for number three is. I, Simon Pegg. Hey. I never put What's that question either. Three again? Sick burn. Right, let's get to the, to the points. <laughs> so, after our four rounds of our game show, the winners, with the 29 points, were GP and Jeds. Con- congratulations. We won the first ever episode of Jack and Ross's yeah. Unreasonably Difficult Game Show. If any, if any cunt at all wants to challenge us, come ahead. Wait, when's the bonus round? There is no bonus round. This is a garbage show. <laughs> <laughs> I do not accept and this. And that's why you don't win the 20 pounds. Who? Damn it. Him. Oh, right. I, mean, I will is, say, though, mm-hmm. you're going to play a game for this. Oh, oh he's going to play against each other. We're going to be against each other, aren't we? <laughs> We're going to play a classic game of Split or Steal! <laughs> Let's fucking go! <laughs> if you both choose Split, you split the money and you get a 10 of each. I bet they're both going to be If one of you chooses Steal and, and the other chooses Split, the person who chooses Steal gets all £20. And if you both choose Steal, both of you get fuck all. Do we get the money? No. No, me and Jack will pocket it. Fuck off. <laughs> you, <laughs> you lost. I mean, I'm get fucked. Like, we've came, we came this far. Aye. We've done it together, so I'm going to spot. <laughs> <laughs> but is he though? How can, I, how can I trust that? <laughs> I'm not being funny. We would do We would do We would do steal. No, I've split. We've came far enough. That's what right? I'm saying. We've came these four rounds. <laughs> I've I've split. Hundred <laughs> percent. I've split. Right. If you steal, I'm not gonna be. <laughs> so I'm just gonna be very disappointed with you. Say <laughs> okay. Right. You can both show the camera at the same time. Okay. Three, two, <laughs> one. <laughs> show. Way. Hey, go away! Are you pity nice. pushies? Let's go! <laughs> I was actually going to steal. Oh, <laughs> so I was so close to steal. 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 Right, cut it in half then. We're fucking, <laughs> we are fucking rolling at it. Uh, let's, go. let's go. Make sure you get all that money in the thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining us for the first episode of Jack and Ross's Unreasonably Difficult Game Show. Hopefully, we'll see you in uh, the future for some more. The the champions can return. We'll see if they can do it all over again. Maybe we'll get some new Come contestants because they're two were shite. <laughs> ah, they were quite bad. But on that bombshell. We'll see you next time. Yay! Yay! <laughs> 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 <laughs>